Well, if it isn't Lord Rafal. What a coincidence, running into you in this great wide Somniel. <sighs> Whoa, what's with the silent treatment? We've always been such good allies. Ah, yes, now I recall. You are one of those mewling four winds wretches. Uh, that sharp gaze, the cruel words. You're nothing at all like when you were Lord Nil. If your lungs enjoy the air, Gregory, you will not permit them to breathe that name again. I guess I was right then. Before, when you were being nice to us, that was all an act, wasn't it? Of course it was an act. Is your weak mind so easily soothed by empty platitudes? Oh, Gregory, I've missed you so. The sight of you fills my heart with joy. Ouch, you don't have to be so mean. Words hurt as bad as blades, you know. Then state your business and cease to waste my time. What brings you to me now? Revenge? What? No, I'm not like that at all. I don't believe in revenge. I don't have any particular business with you. Then be gone. You are of no further use to me. Fine, fine. Not like I actually want to be used by you again. I did have one question for you, though. You're cruel, but it feels like a mask, just like your kindness did. So, who is the real you? Your naivete is staggering. Why, Lord Rafal, today must be my lucky day. Isn't the weather great? I could take a nap right here. If it wasn't the middle of a battlefield. Your enthusiasm is bewildering. And your overtures of friendship are misplaced. Who says I'm trying to be your friend? Maybe the Divine Dragon wants me to chaperone you. You? Chaperone me? Huh. I mean, why not? You may be powerful, but you have the habit of letting that get to your head. Maybe having a cool, intellectual type like me by your side will help balance you out. When I require the services of a spineless, sniveling coward, I will be sure to... <laughs> Look out! <sighs> what the... You always have to be wary of an ambush on the battlefield, Lord Rafal. <sighs> How dare the corrupted loosen arrow in my direction! It's rather shocking. But given that I just saved your life, I'd say you need me as a chaperone. Do not patronize me. I am more than capable of fighting this battle without your supervision. Sure you are. Never said you weren't. Uh, what is it? If it will help you wipe that look off your face, then by all means, spit it out. Nothing. Nothing at all. I was just thinking about how strong you are. Indeed, you would do well to remember that. My power will be what decides this battle, and it will do so far more effectively if you keep quiet and out of the way. As great as it sounds to just stand aside and avoid all conflict, if I stop watching you and you get killed, I could never look the Divine Dragon in the eye again. <sighs> if you insist, then so be it. But mind your place and keep up, lest you be left behind. But of course, I will do as you say, my former master. I had my doubts at first, but I'd say we make a pretty good team. You have done well. What? A compliment? Did you actually just say I did well? Too well. What is your aim in fighting alongside me? What are you trying to achieve? Do you recall nothing of how I played you for a fool? The life that was lost because of it? Of course I remember. Surely you are harboring resentment, or fear at the very least, that I may turn on you again. Oh, believe me. I used to resent and hate you with all my heart. Still do, if I'm being honest. But that anger? It's not directed entirely toward you. What is that supposed to mean? Well... I never realized you had a secret. I didn't even realize how much you were suffering. I'm more angry at myself for being so useless. I wasn't able to help you. To... To rescue you. 
Is that so? That's why I'm trying so hard to understand you in this world. Huh. You truly believe you can fathom my mind? Maybe, maybe not. But even if I fail in that and you betray us again, I won't fail in ending you. So it doesn't matter how cruel or nice you are to me. I don't plan on leaving your side. So open about your plans. Why should I keep my would-be murderer close to my side? Because the Divine Dragon wants me to be your chaperone? Seems like a good enough reason. Oh, very well. Serve me with your backstabbing blade near to hand if that is what pleases you. So long as you are aware that the only back such a blade will find is your own. <laughs> are you truly amused by your own weakness? Oh, I was just thinking that, based on what I've seen, we don't need to worry too much. The way you feel obligated and try to push me away, your inability to honestly express thanks. You try to hide it, but I see you. And I doubt you'll betray us again. Probably. No. Definitely. Comfort yourself with whatever delusions you prefer. None of this matters to me. Is that so? Then why are your ears turning red? <sighs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> I think I like you better when you're this easy to read. I won't be fooled by the mask you try to wear. Not when I've finally seen your true face.